people now think that they are the, the police, they're the court, uh, and they have a right to kill someone who wasn't using deadly force against them. Democratic State Representative Garnett Coleman of Houston wants to change the Castle Doctrine. The law allows Texans to use lethal force if they reasonably believe they face imminent harm. They don't have to retreat as long as they believe the threat is real. Attorney Scott Rinnick says if the law changes, the biggest impact is away from the home. If you're in your own home, it doesn't really change. But if you're away from your home and you are only allowed to use lethal force, really, if there's no other option. What it's trying to change is simply you can't use lethal force in an event where there is what is a perceived threat. Um, an example of that is the Trayvon Martin case. In a telephone interview today, Coleman said young men of color have become targets based on what he calls the prejudice society has. Uh, yes, yes, I definitely believe it's wrong to shoot first and ask questions later. I mean, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's not, I don't think it really depends on the situation. I mean, because in that case, it's like you're not thinking before you're doing it. You're just doing it. Rennick says Coleman will have a tough time getting the Texas legislature to pass his bill. Any bill that comes in front of the Texas legislature that people would perceive correctly or incorrectly to limit the rights uh, of gun owners would be very unlikely to pass in Texas. Coleman says his goal isn't to eliminate the entire Castle Doctrine, but to make people take a few extra seconds before they use lethal force. They have opinions and emotions and stress and people act on that. So, but that's not enough to literally you know, take someone's life. In Southeast Texas, Jessica Crawford, Fox 4 News.